the most important thing from a kind of punk perspective is to be able to be in charge of the technology which you're using. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. In today's conversation, we're joined by deep learning pioneer Mick Grierson and artist Stephanie Dinkins, who both use deep learning to generate interactive, user-centered platforms that foreground conversational and collaborative relationships with data systems towards new narratives. I wonder if whoever wants to go first could define deep learning. It's difficult because there's a technical understanding of deep learning, and then there's kind of an aesthetic and cultural understanding of it too. If you think of it as a way of cascading or like stacking together information derived from inputs to a machine, you kind of go down layer by layer, trying to refine your understanding across the whole model. I understand it as something that's taking information and running it through a number of cogs, kind of as Mick was saying, running it until it comes to a conclusion or the, the most viable version of what we're looking for, iterating on it, and whittling down into something sort of recognizable. That was the most lucid explanation of deep learning that I think I've heard, so I'm very excited that we now have this between the two of you. And Stephanie, maybe moving on to you, maybe you could start with where your journey with art and technology began, and then specifically AI and deep learning. I've always been technologically interested, but on a light, popular way. I'm a photographer by training, right? And really thinking a lot about documentary photography. And then looking at society and stumbling onto a representation of blackness in robotic form that was said to be one of the world's most advanced um, social robots. And so I studied those for a while and I was like, I'm just going to ask if I can come up and talk to this robot. I want to see if we can become friends. I was trying to figure out where it sat technologically or within the human context. And so the rest is sort of history. Maybe we can move to Mick and maybe specifically when your experimentation with deep learning began. So I was involved in experimental uh, sound art in the early 90s. And then I realized obviously I was never gonna be able to make a living doing that. So I went to college to learn how to make films and then became really obsessed by experimental and avant-garde and abstract computer animation. And then realized I was never gonna make a living out of that either. I realized that technology had always been part of that practice. And that was the realization that I had to make my own tools. And so I started to explore artificial intelligence and machine learning. And I became interested in automated systems and computer vision as part of that process using uh, automated systems. We wanted to understand how to make tools that were useful for people who wanted to create new types of art, explore new forms of representation. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology. 